Well, you're all now about a third of the way through your renegade tour. How's it been going? It's going great. It's really going well. Well, this is the first British tour you've done for 18 months or more. Why has it been so long? Uh, we've been touring the rest of the world and stuff, you know. We've been in Japan, Australia and America. And then I did a solo LP and then we were in the studio doing the Renegade album, which comes out soon. Mm, so you've been busy jetting about. But, Scott, the album took, uh, you, you took quite a long time and you also recorded it in three different studios. Why was that? Well, uh, so, some of the studios were better for guitar sounds, others were better for uh, actually basic track sounds, uh, as in drum sounds and bass sounds and things. So we actually took our time on this one because uh, I think this uh, we saw that this album was actually uh, probably going to be one of the best ones that we've ever come up with, and it, that's the way it turned out, too. So, so I'm actually glad that we did it in the three different studios. So now the tour is backing up the album. And Darren, this is your first major tour, isn't it, with oh, yeah. Lindsay? Uh, I started with a band about halfway through last year, you know, and uh, it's going really well for me. This is my first major tour though, with the band. Were you nervous for it? Very nervous, yeah. <laughs> but it's going well. Yes, yeah, it's going great. Good. Despite all the changes in the lineup, because you've had a lot of changes in your lineup yeah. over the time, your, your sounds remained very distinctive and your style's very much the same. I presume that must be down to you, as you're the only kind of element that's now constant. Must be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I think uh, the, no, the structure of the band has remained the same. It's uh, two lead guitarists with bass and drums, and, and of course, uh, my husky voice over the top. But, so, in a way, the sound is the same. But I figure. With the addition of the keyboards now, the texture behind the sound is changing, and hopefully it will be for the better. And know. how else has your music changed? Has, it, has what it's concerned about changed at all over the 12 years you've been going? Yeah, I think I've uh, stopped singing about ooh babies and oh babies and started to get onto more uh, relevant issues for me anyway. Lyrically, I, I try hard with the lyrics. You know, so. <laughs> Being part black and part Irish, have you got influences of both of those things in your music? I'm sure I have, you know, I draw on the Irish heritage, you know, and uh, my father was black, and I'm black, you know, so, I mean, I just, for me it's a norm, for everybody else it's a little funny, you know, but hard luck on everybody else, you know. Does it concern you, the sort of, whether you're first Irish or first black or...? No, because I'm a, 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 an Irishman, you know. I mean, I, the black-white question, I think, is a lot of uh, ball. <laughs> Ireland's obviously a first love, because you've now got a house in Ireland with your wife, Caroline, yeah, Leslie Crowther's daughter, and the kids. Um, do you think that your family responsibilities now have changed you? Do you think you're... Oh, yes. I'm a much more responsible person now. I'm definitely a person to look up to in society, you know? <laughs> Why? I mean, how, how do you change? How do you know you've changed? I mean, you know, I'll say it on the telly. I love my wife and kids, you know, what else can I say? All right. And what about your stage performance? Are we seeing any changes in the actual way you present yourselves in this tour? Scott? Yeah. Well, the, uh, the album actually brought uh, a whole new stage concept for us because uh, we knew that the album was that good we were going to change the whole stage setting so we've got a brand new stage setting with all sorts of things that move up and down on the stage and all that it's it's great to watch actually Sounds good. it's well, even great for us to watch <laughs> well your first gigs in, in london is tomorrow so look forward to that and good luck for the rest of the tour cheers, cheers.